the next question asked by Altaf Siddiqui from Mumbai is general insurance or life insurance halal a similar question is asked by Umar Mukhtar from Kashmir can one insure one's house and shop as you might be knowing that in Kashmir there are regular encounters in which houses and shops are blown up the question poses that is general insurance or life insurance permitted can the Muslims in Kashmir insure their house because it's blown up etc insurance per se is not haram but because of the things associated with insurance most of the time it's haram the conventional insurance that we have or the commercial insurance the reason it's haram is because it has three criteria which are haram number one the reason of ambiguity number two it has an element of gambling and number three is raba in a conventional insurance what happens it may be a car insurance it may be health insurance it may be a car insurance you may buy insurance of the car and the full year nothing happens so the owner of the company of the insurance gets the profit and you don't get its ambiguity or if an accident takes place the company pays for the repair of the damage it may be excessive so you benefit and the company goes in loss there's ambiguity there's an element of gambling also for example take a life insurance and thing happens to you or health insurance take out a health insurance and nothing happens to you for the full year and yet you're paying so scholars have clubbed these two categories together ambiguity and gambling this is one of the major reasons that insurance is haram and the other reason is the second or the third reason is that most of these conventional insurance companies they keep the money in banks or they invest in money instruments which involves interest or riba so based on these criteria the conventional insurance is haram but there is something like an islamic insurance known as takaful so if you take takaful which is islamic insurance it is not a commercial insurance it is more of a corporate insurance in a conventional insurance or a commercial insurance the owner of the company gets major of the profit in a corporate insurance the people all of them are shareholders so takaful reduces the ambiguity reduces the element of gambling or removes it completely these people who are involved in takaful they all are shareholders and they give as though they're giving donation and they give donation and whoever requires it gets the benefit based on the hadith that once during war time when there was scarcity of food so the sahabas collect the food from all the people and they distribute it equally that means all of them give the food and then they collect what it is and they distribute equally so this is permitted so in takaful what happens all of the members are shareholders so just in case if no accident takes place no one is sick what happens that money goes back to the shareholder in the conventional insurance if no one gets a who benefit the owner the commercial insurance the one who owns the insurance benefits here it goes back to the shareholder so the element of ambiguity is reduced the element of gambling is reduced and it is more of helping each other based on the verse of the quran for maida chapter number 5 verse number 2 that help one another in bir and taqwa in righteousness in piety and in virtue so based on this verse of the quran the takaful is formed they see to it that the islamic sharia is followed and all the haram is not there and if the takaful invests they see to it that they don't invest in a riba based investment they invest in a sharia compliant investment so the money that comes they put in a sharia compliant which is based on the principles of the sharia it does not involve riba it does not involve interest so if you take an insurance that is takaful insurance based on the islamic principles it's permitted but the normal conventional insurance or the commercial insurance it is haram it is prohibited you should not involve whether it's in kashmir whether any part of the world whether bomb is going to break your house or not it is not allowed you should not do it unless someone is forcing you like in some countries taking out insurance of the car is compulsory like in india and there's no takaful so what you do you take out a third party insurance the minimum requirement is a third party not a comprehensive insurance so if there's no takaful in countries like india 
you can take out a third party insurance but don't take out a full comprehensive insurance full comprehensive insurance will have the element of ambiguity will have the element of gambling will have the element of riba in a third party insurance you don't benefit at all if a third party sues you then the company will pay on your behalf so you're not benefiting it's a small amount so if someone is forcing you to take out an insurance that the company says health insurance and you have no say of it then even if it's a conventional insurance somebody is forcing you in that case it's permitted but you voluntarily doing it if someone is not forcing you it is haram however if someone is forcing you and if takaful is there take takaful if it's not there the last resort you can take the conventional insurance but take the lowest category voluntary if you are living in a muslim country or a country which has the takaful and you want to take that's permitted but taking voluntary intentionally a conventional insurance it is haram but takaful based on the islamic sharia is permitted